Hey guys, let's see concept of object oriented programming dynamic binding. As we know, polymorphism means one thing, many forms. Polymorphism is of two types static binding and dynamic binding. But what is binding? Binding means linking of a processor call to the code to be executed. What does it mean? It means you are having two function call, right? Func, func with single argument that is a, right? You are having two function call. This is your function call, function call first, function call second. And you are having two function definition. Func without any argument, c out, hello. Func a single argument in A void void C out A fine. So you have two function definition and two function call. So linking of a processor call to the code to be executed. It means First number of function called is linked with first number function definition. Means whenever you are calling func, whenever you are having this func, you are supposed to execute this line of code. Whatever is in between opening and closing brackets. Second function call is linked with second function definition. Means whenever you are having this func a call, you are supposed to execute this line of code. Fine. So this linking is known as binding. When this linking is done at static time or at compilation time, this is known as static binding or early binding. Fine. When this linking or this binding is done, when this binding is done, at runtime, then it is known as dynamic binding or late binding. Fine. Let's see an example of dynamic binding. So, we are having a shape class. Shape class is inhabited by circle and triangle classes. Right. In shape class, we are having a function draw. This function will be part of your circle class and triangle class as you are inheriting your shape class. Fine. When we are executing this function with circle object, we are getting a circle. When we are executing this draw function, with a triangle object, we are getting a triangle. Fine. Because each class, whether it's class, circle or triangle, has implemented their own draw function. So whenever you are executing draw function, this association is done. This association is done at runtime right which uh, code will be executed whether it's circle object co uh, circle class code or triangle class code so this association is done at runtime so this is known as dynamic binding again repeating we are having shape class shape class is inherited by circle and triangle class in shape class, we are having a draw function. As it is a pure case of inheritance, circle and triangle will get this draw function. But they have implemented their own draw methods. Right? They have implemented their own draw function. So, whenever you are calling draw with a circle object, you are getting a circle. When you are calling a draw, this draw function with a triangle object, you are getting a triangle. So, this association is done at one time. So, this kind of binding is known as dynamic 
binding. Thank you.